Okay, now that I understand the value of reporting to the CDP, can you tell me more about the scoring process? Are they grades or numerical scores? Are they gold stars or trophies? Although CDP doesn't award gold stars, I like your style. There are two types of scores you can receive as a company responding to CDP's climate change information request, a disclosure score and a performance score. You can receive a disclosure score and no performance score, or you can receive both if you achieve a disclosure score of 50 or above. This is to make sure that your company's performance is based on enough information to fairly assess its climate change mitigation strategies. Can you explain the differences between disclosure score and performance score? CDP awards disclosure points based on the completeness and quality of your responses. On the other hand, a performance score is a measure of your company's strategies to mitigate climate change. It considers greenhouse gas reductions due to specific actions over the past year and long-term emission reduction strategies. This score reflects your company's efforts in climate change mitigation and adaptation, as opposed to simply the provision of information. Your disclosure score shows how well you responded to the question of, tell me about your emissions, while your performance score shows how well you responded to the question of, what are you doing about your emissions? Companies taking meaningful actions to reduce greenhouse gas emissions are rewarded in their performance score, but not necessarily in their disclosure score. Okay, that makes sense. Does the CDP acknowledge high scoring companies like an honor roll? Excellence in both disclosure and performance is given special recognition. For the disclosure score, the top 10% highest scoring companies in a region are listed in the Climate Disclosure Leadership Index, also known as the CDLI. Similarly, there is a performance index that high scoring companies can achieve, the Climate Performance Leadership Index, or A list. This is the true honor roll. There are five criteria for reaching this status, including a performance score of at least 85. Conversely, Large companies that choose not to disclose with CDP are publicly listed in the annual CDP report. Wow, it sounds like this recognition is valuable for a business. Can you give me some examples of companies that have received high scores in the past? Sure. Best Buy was on the Climate A-list the past three years and on the Climate Disclosure Leadership Index, or CDLI, the past four years. Cisco Systems has been on the Climate A-list for the past five years and on the CDLI the past eight years. Among many of the ambitious goals these companies have set, Best Buy has committed to reduce its carbon emissions by 45% by 2020 through operational reductions and renewable sourcing. The company recently stated, CDP disclosure has enabled us to accurately disclose carbon data to the financial community and strengthened our ability to assess the risks and opportunities associated with climate change. I heard the CDP will be changing its scoring approach starting in 2016. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Yes. Starting in 2016, CDP is moving to a performance score approach that better illustrates companies' progress towards environmental stewardship. Each company will be placed in a band for the following categories. Disclosure, awareness, management, and leadership. This will allow for increased performance differentiation and better evaluation of companies' strengths and weaknesses regarding greenhouse gas emissions. The official methodology CDP will use for this new scoring approach is still forthcoming. We are closely tracking these changes, which will be finalized this month. Stay tuned.